Hello world, welcome back to my Repair Project. I'm Mike, hope you're having a fantastic day today. We are back in the shed working on another project and that project is this beauty right here. This is a bench vise made in Lancaster, PA. So this is Rust Belt Old American Steel, which is awesome. It's a four inch bench vise. Manufacturer is CB and F Co. Number 40 is the model number. This thing is a cream puff. It looks a little bit rough, but it is solid. A little bit of research I've done, this was built anywhere from the 30s to the 50s, so it, it is old, and it looks like it's just been used just barely. I've seen newer bench vices um, look a lot worse than this. So I'm really excited about uh, having this. I picked this up off Facebook Marketplace for a steal, and what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna clean this up. There is some original paint here that I kind of love. So I wanna retain that and hopefully brighten that up. Not everything has to be a full restoration. Sometimes you can just get away with making things look nice and getting them into a nice functional state where you're uh, proud of it and then you don't feel too bad about you know slamming stuff into it. So that's what we're, what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna tear this thing apart start doing some rust mitigation, cleaning it all up, and then treating it, probably with some boiled linseed oil. That's one of my favorite uh, metal treatments, it just to give it a nice uh, protection from the elements, and then put it all back together. So if you like those kinds of things, please subscribe, comment, and share this video, and I'll start up the time lapses and get everything looking nice. we got beautiful I love working with old steel it just it doesn't quit on you it's so tough looks like this has a dual paint job on it orange and red that's custom so what we're gonna do next is get them all lathered up in boiled linseed oil so they're nice and protected
Uh-oh, there's an issue, like always. So, I was doing a cool time lapse, as you can see here, of me putting this together, and I was really struggling to get this contraption to work. So, what I have found out is that this pin is just wallered out. See? Well, it's just, you know, it's not a circle anymore. And I don't think it ever was supposed to be because like when you put it in like this, it definitely doesn't fit. But what I see here is a little divot indentation recess for, for this. So this, I think was supposed to be like this for when you wanted it to be, you know, a 360 degree unit. Or if you just wanted it to be stationary, you'd flip the pin and throw it in right there. And it fits nicely. And you can tell by looking at this, that that is what this has lived probably most of its life because that is really just wallered out and has seen some abuse. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I might use this. I might try to find just a bolt that um, will attach to this uh, this uh, pin so that I can um, you know hold on to this for the future or use it on a different project. But then it's not you know this is in the way. Uh, it's just a bolt. So, um, yeah, so things, you know, stuff happens, things happen. Sometimes it's not, ever, you know, it's not the best thing ever. Um, but it's still a great looking vice. I'm really excited about it. It looks super cool. And um, I'm still going to use the heck out of this baby. So I'm going to get this taken care of.